Spinning Rods Analysis and Conclusion. Number one, is there a pattern in your observations? If so, explain the pattern. Attach the aluminum foil to a piece of thread. Move the plastic rod that's rubbed with fur near the aluminum foil while holding the thread up in the air. Explain what you observed. When not rubbed, the rods remain neutral and neither has a charge. As a result, there is no electric force between them and they will neither repel nor attract. When one rod is rubbed, but the other is not, one of those rods will be charged and the other will stay neutral. When you bring them together, the charged rod will induce polarization, that is, a separation of charges in the neutral rod. Because opposite charges attract, opposite charges in the neutral rod will move to the side that is closer to the charged rod, causing the two rods to attract. So let's just draw a quick picture here. Let's say this is the positive rod, and over here we have a neutral rod. When this positive gets closer to this one, the negatives will move over here, leaving the positive charges behind, and we will then have an attractive force between those two rods. When both plastic rods are rubbed with fur, they will obtain identical charges and repel. When both glass rods are rubbed with silk, they will gain identical charges and repel. A plastic rod rubbed with fur and a glass rod rubbed with silk will have opposite charges and will attract each other.